We gonna Cur- get. Curve about to choke some people out, yo. <laughs> Yeah, but um, <laughs> we gonna get we gonna get into this Master P real quick. Yep, yep. Yeah, man. So um, you know, we we saw an interview with uh, Master P. If y'all haven't seen it, he was on the Breakfast Club with um, DJ Envy, Angela E, and Charlamagne and the God. And um, he, you know, talked about quite a few things, man. What I like about him, though, you know, he really talks about entrepreneurship a lot, and you know, trying to elevate people of color. Not just black people, just people of color. Yeah, he color uh, actually t- he actually talked about you know not to cut you off, but he was actually talking about Maker. you know helping the uh, uh, af- you know African American and Latinos because you know mm-hmm. we don't have you know he's talking about these uh, movie production companies and stuff. Yeah, and um, you know we really don't have those those things. We don't have we don't have ownership in those things as as much as you know. As you know, Jewish yeah. and you know other uh, white establishments. Yeah, I mean, there's people in such high places that even a billion dollars with a B is not that much money to them. Oh no, you know what I mean. Matter so, of fact, they, they might look at the billion and be like, "Shit, nigga, that is right." <laughs> <laughs> Shut so, my ass with a billion. <laughs> so he's basically saying, you know, we need to try to be getting to those statuses instead of always being the consumer. You know what I mean? We think that we make a, a couple million and we're good. You know, I can live, lay back and chill and take care of my family. Yeah, that's cool. But a million dollars goes nowhere these days. Nowhere. Oh, no. You can't so, you know what I mean? So it's like he's trying to, you know, really push y'all and say, you know, we need to not only do that, but we need to take a step higher. We need to be billionaires and all of that. You know what I mean? So I really um, like his mentality and I've been following, you know, what he's been doing for the past like five, six years when it comes to entrepreneurship. So, you know, and, and one of the topics they talked about, he uh, got, he ran into Tyler Perry. Uh, mm-hmm. Why he was um, at the Essence Fest, so you know he was kind of saying he got some weird vibes from our. Uh, no, I say R. Kelly. Dang, <laughs> <laughs> man, you gotta piss on my face again. <laughs> <laughs> Damn, <what's up>? uh, <laughs> I know they call me Master P, but I don't want your P. <laughs> you don't want your P. But um, <laughs> so he ran into Tyler Perry, and um, you know he said he felt some kind of way, like you know what I mean. He felt like. Uh, Tyler Perry wasn't really giving him the same energy. He felt like, um, you know, like 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 Tyler Perry was almost maybe looking down on him. Like, oh, okay, you're doing a couple of movies. That's cute. You know, cool, cool. Yeah, you but know? that's the thing, though. Master P been doing movies. Right. He been doing movies. Yeah. There ain't no couple. He yeah. been doing movies. Yeah, he, he's been doing his thing for a while. So, you know, I don't know, man. Maybe it was just an off day for Tyler Perry, man. You know what I mean? He, I like Tyler Perry. I think he's a good dude. But, I mean, he's entitled to make a couple of mistakes, I guess. So, you know, it might have just been an off day where, you know, I don't know. Uh, look at that. They're going to fake. Yeah, Facebook, man. Yeah, we got to, man. I'm going to, man, yo. Facebook for real, yo, man. Yo. Come on, Zucky. Yeah, we're going to punch the shit out of <laughs> Nah, I better not say that. Look look back like, yeah. Oh, word. We just gonna cut it off. We just gonna, gonna, gonna cut it off. We just gonna cut it off. We apologize. We apologize. Yeah, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. We love you, Facebook. Yeah, yeah. We love, <laughs> we love all the things that you do on Facebook. Right. You know, old, you know, old face age app and you know, just trying to really surveillance <laughs> right. the people. Right. And, you know what I'm saying? We, Seven we really, our information. We love yeah, you. Yeah, we love you, man. Yeah, man. But uh, I'm gonna tell you my blood type right now. <laughs> nah, <fuck. laughs> <laughs> but yeah, man. So you know, uh, what did you think about that when he was talking about Tyler Perry? Um, I understand where he was coming from, and you know, and just like what he said with the dress comment, he was just saying, "Look, I'm not knocking the one for doing it and rocking up in a dress." He's saying, "As a man, I'm not trying to do that." Right. You know, he was basically, I, I understand for what Master P was saying is like his overall message is like. Look, we got to come together. We got to stop all this, you know, pettiness and stop, you know, oh, well, you you made, you know, you made it. Or, excuse me, I made it, but, like, you know what I'm saying? Like, no one else can make it. Right. And we can really have this mentality for, like, a long time. Like, you know, no one else. Like, it's just me and my four and no more. And no one else should prosper. But I mean, it's it's shit out here for everybody. Everybody can get yeah. this. You know what I'm saying? And, and that's what he was saying. He felt like Tyler Perry had that energy of you know, 
making him feel like, you know, up here versus down here. And he was like, you know, it's enough going around for all of us to succeed. So I know I have to admit, I don't feel like Tyler Perry is genuinely like that, but I guess the energy of the moment must have been kind of off. And, you know, I guess he was feeling some kind of way, but you know, everybody has that days where they, the, your energy just might not be matching his. So mm-hmm. I don't think in general Tyler Perry is like that, but I really, you know, I think he just probably had an off day. Because uh, Tyler Perry don't seem like the type that, you know, he would try to say, you know, hey, you know, I made it, but, you know, whatever you're doing, that's cute, you know what I mean? So I don't see that, but either way, you know, I don't think they really had a thorough conversation. It was yeah. just Master P was just saying, basically, I just didn't feel the right energy from him, you know? Well, now, about- I think it was also something to me in that energy that he was actually trying to you know, do some work with him. Right. He and say that. they never, and he never really showed up. You know, he was like, yeah. you know, yeah, we're going to do this, blah, 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 and, you know, boom, boom, you know what I'm saying? But then all of a sudden, like, he didn't, he right. didn't show up. Yeah. So he kind of felt like, I can understand him feeling some type of way about that. It's like, yeah. you know. But, yeah, because he said that stemmed from like a few years ago, I think. Yeah. He said a few years ago, they bumped at each other and he was like, yeah, let's work together. But he said Tyler Perry basically just never came back through and never really reached out or, or whatever, I don't know. One thing I was amazed in the in the, in the whole interview, I, I was really amazed at, and I mean, I'm not saying it because like, oh, well, he speaks so well, and not, not, not that shit, but I, you know, for me, like, I, I think, you know, I got like Master P's ghetto be like out in the, like somewhere, like on yeah. the set. Yeah. Like I came from that yeah. time. And for him to really grow to what he is now, I mean, ain't nothing short of amazing. Yeah. And uh, on that interview, I could just, I could see like that growth. You know what I'm saying? Like I, 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 I just felt that growth. Like he, he was like kind, of, he's humble. Don't worry. I mean, don't get me wrong. Don't get it twisted. Now he's still, you know, but he's still like humble. He's still trying to like do his thing, and um, he's really focused on this movement as far as like getting people together. Right. And getting black people working as far as yeah. okay, you know, you know, everybody's up here trying to just get the roles in TV and be in front of the camera camera. We need to actually think about producing. We yeah. really need to be thinking about, you know what I'm saying, like you're yeah, producing and you know work doing doing other stuff. Script yeah, yeah, script writing. Yeah. All, all that type of stuff, being not just yeah, being, being a brand. brand. Yeah. I mean, that's and not to be all off the subject, but just kind of like with Kevin Hart with Heartbeat Production. Say what you want to about the man, but the way he did it, I mean, mm-hmm. it was just smart as far as you know. He's got an own production company, and now he's actually making moves with the big guys. You know what I'm yeah. saying? So, I mean, you can say whatever you want to about that. I know people got different takes on that, but. You know, at least we got we we got like some example right. of what we can do and the power that we have. And just like you were saying, we are a consumer, um, we're a consumer based uh, society. society. Yeah. And black people, we we are the biggest consumers. Yeah. But we don't have anything going into our neighborhoods and stuff. Right. And, you know, and it kills me that you got people like. You know, you got ignorant ass people talking about, you know, black people got to get out of here, go back to Africa. Let me tell y'all something. Motherfucker, we left right we now. Left. And we left right now. Y'all be in some shit. Right. <laughs> y'all, don't really want y'all, need, y'all need us here. We need us buying yeah. up shit. Yeah. I'm tell you right now, because we, you know, that consumer base, you know what I'm saying? We may not own property and stuff like, you know, like, the, you know, like whites and stuff like that. But you know, buying products and stuff, we we give that money to you all day. You know what I'm saying? If that money came, if that money switches, yeah, y'all be fucked. Seriously, yeah. seriously, no Vaseline. Yeah, and that's, just a little rope and a chain of gasoline. Yeah, God, and that's but that's how they what they do, man. Is they they have gotten us to have that way of thinking that our best. Contribution to society is being a consumer, mm-hmm. and and you know we they have kind of kept us in that low space where you feel like okay well that's all I can do let me get a little bit of money if I can get a little extra give me some nice you know jays give me some nice jewelry give me some nice this so I can be looking good blah 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 but that's not living that's not <clears> success <throat> man you uh-huh. know what I mean 
And, you know, we really kind of equivocate success with money, you know, and that's really just not where it is, man. You got to you gotta get out there and be an owner of something, man. You know, be a brand. You know what I mean? Make yourself a brand and make yourself an owner of something that you can be proud of. Even if you ain't making the most money, at least you can say, I own this. Mm -hmm. This shit is mine. You know what I mean? So, you know, you got to do something like that, man. So I really applaud Master P. Matter of fact, let's clap it up. Yeah, let's clap that up, man. Master P. Percy. Oh! <laughs> uh, we gotta do that. We gotta do one of the other. We gotta do one of the other. This ain't no motherfucking bitch. <laughs> 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 you know who I miss? I really would like to hear music from right now. It's Mystical. That's oh, my dude man. right there, man. That's my dude right there, man. He came home and. You know, he, he did a few uh, radio tours and stuff like that, freestyling here and there, but never really heard any music, you know, uh, since he got back on the scene. So I'm anxious to see what he's doing, man. Really, you know what I'm saying? Mystical really don't get a whole lot of credit that he really, uh, you know, he did a lot, honestly, for hip hop. There were a lot of people, you know, back in those days in the, in the mid 90s, you know, people weren't listening to hip hop like they do now. Yeah. And he really, you know, got some people that didn't really necessarily listen to rap mm -hmm. to listen to rap. Yeah. I mean, you know what I'm saying? And, you know, mystical style was just so different. And, I mean, it was just, you know, he's the only one that could imitate that style, even to this day. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like, he, you don't really, you don't really have that, you know, around, you know, people imitating that too much. Yeah, and that's so, what I really liked about him. You know, he had that unique thing going where, you know, he was doing something that nobody else was doing. It was like nobody else can really duplicate this, you know what I mean? And so that keeps him as somebody who can make money at any given time if he keeps releasing music, you know what I mean? Because every time he released music, everybody was on it, mm -hmm. you know what I mean? You know, so it was just like, dude, come on, man. I need you back out there showing these young cats, you know what I mean? It ain't all about the same thing, so I don't know why I can't seem to stay live. Oh, yeah. See, we got oh, see, now, see, see now, man, yo, man, man, Facebook, Facebook playing. Shot, shot. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, <laughs> yo, I don't know what's going on, but between Facebook and Instagram, it's always something. You know what I mean? So. You know, we're not going to keep y'all much longer, but, you know, it, it's crazy. You know what I mean? They be trying to stop our grind. Yeah, they trying to stop our grind, man. <laughs> okay, so let me get into this, and then we're going to be done. Uh, I got a question that I want to pose to everybody in the audience, and that is uh, particularly, you know, we got, a, we got a political year coming up, 2020. We also have, you know, Trump just recently said some racist shit in the office. You know, telling people. When doesn't he say racist? I know, but I mean, you know, he was telling, you know, he hey, y'all need to go back from where you came from. Yeah, y'all need to come back from where you came from. Right. It's like, man, come on, man. Yeah. But anyway, so my thing of it is, let, let's ask this question. My original question was, can you be a Republican and still listen to hip hop? That was my original question, but I want to kind of switch it up a little bit because I said it was such a generic question. Why do you pull up? Uh, well, I'm gonna ask this a uh, little open-ended question. Why do political parties uh, tend to, you know, they try to brand themselves with hip hop to get like the black votes, and then they don't do anything later yeah, for no the for the vote. Yeah, so why is it the political parties try to, you know, uh, you know, align themselves with hip hop? So that's the question that's, that's I want to ask. That's interesting, man, because, you know, when I think about it, you know, you do see a lot of people, you know, trying to, you know, act like they so in the hip hop and stuff like that. Now, there are a few who really are in the hip hop and politics, you know what I mean? Um, but there's some where you can just tell, okay, I'm just trying to get on somebody's good side. So, 
you know, I'll uh, make a quick appearance or I'll uh, mention the hip hop song. You know, I grew up on Dougie Fresh and, you know, Slick Rick, so I know something about I those smoked guys. weed in college. Right. And I listened to Tupac and, right. and Snoop in right. 1986. Right. The strand of weed I had was really, really fucking good. <laughs> <laughs> so you know, it's like you know, don't don't do that. Don't don't try no. to don't try to use us just to get some votes or whatever. So I mean, yeah, I don't care for that, man. Because uh, I'm I'm want to know if you're following up or not. You know what I mean? Like we know what's dope. Like I remember when um, Prodigy passed away, you saw a lot of support from people you didn't expect, you know what I mean? Like news anchors was doing tributes to to Mob Deep on the air, you know what I mean? They would, you know, I don't know if you ever seen it, but there's a video out there where, you know, they would say little stuff like in there telling the weather. They'd be like, yeah, over here it's sunny and there's a few shook ones down here, you know, blah, blah, blah. And they would have little references where you could tell they was trying to pay tribute. You could tell that's kind of authentic, yeah. you know what I mean? Because nobody really asked them to do that. They had nothing to really gain. They were just, you know what I mean, doing it. And they did that for Bush McBill, too, when he um, passed away. Well, Prodigy, one thing about Prodigy, though, man, uh, Prodigy was kind of uh, getting toward politics a little bit. Yeah. Um, they, he actually did a couple of interviews, and they asked, you know, this was back in the day when uh, Obama was running. Mm-hmm. So they was asking, so he was at, they were asking, so... Uh, you're gonna vote for Obama or something like that. What you feel about Obama? He ain't say shit about Obama. You know who he talked about? Ron Paul. And what he did, he was like, yeah, Ron Paul, I think he's you know the best candidate for the people, blase, blase. Okay. You know what I'm saying? So Prodigy was on it, man. Yeah. Like he he kind of saw past like the whole the blue and the red, the right. whole Democrat. Cause they, hey man, that shit, you know, I say that all the time, man. Basically all that is, it's the same, it's the same um it's the same puppet, man. Yeah, yeah. It's the same puppet. Yeah, and a lot of people are starting to wake up to that, you know what I mean? Because they just try to tell you, this is it. You got to pick one or the other, blue or red. Yeah. And they, they kind of make the other parties, the little smaller parties, seem like, you know, don't don't even sweat them. Just, you got to go blue or red. One or the other. And that's the thing, you know, the, the, the you know, those parties will get in the bed with each other, like the Democrat, the Republican. Yeah. But trying to push those little parties out. Because they know that, you know what I'm saying, if they if they don't push if they push these people out, you know, they won't be able to do whatever they need to do, you know, especially with these companies and corporations buying them up, you know, put money in their pocket. But yeah, once they get to the once they get to the uh stage, the platform, once they become, you know, to be the president, now it's like uh, now I gotta do the company's agenda because right. they going to got me. Right. So, exactly. And that and their agenda definitely ain't gonna be your best, you know what I'm saying, your best instrument for you know, for the people. So Yeah. But yeah, I mean, you know, you got really I'm I'm gonna go ahead and say this too. In my opinion, I, I think right now, I think that other than maybe Bernie Sanders, mm. and even I wouldn't mess with him too much, but it's just like right now, I if you if you a black man in America, I would not fuck with the Democratic Party right now. Mm. Yeah, I mean, I'm, and I'm not telling you to go vote Democrat or uh, Republican. I'm not telling you to do that shit neither. But I'm just saying, like a lot a lot of these cats right now, they just trying to drum up votes. They ain't really in you know in the grounds with the people. I mean, I could give it to Bernie Sanders a little bit because he marched with Martin Luther King. He did this, you know. I. I applaud um, Killer Mike for actually going to, you know, standing yeah. with him. You know, I don't technically, I don't all the way agree with that, but I think at least, I think Mike understands, like, well, this guy may not be the best, but at least we got somebody right. that's kind of like ground roots and yeah. and actually done his thing and things like yeah, that. Definitely, um, definitely. But yeah, there's definitely some faults with Bernie, but that's yeah. faults with everybody too. But yeah. Um, yeah, Cam- very true. Kamala Harris, nah, nah, <laughs> nah. We don't need her in there, for real. Yeah, and true. honestly, Biden, nah, nah. Fuck that nigga too. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Fuck him. So basically, basically, <laughs> do your own homework. You know what I mean? So you know, don't let nobody else tell you what to do. You know, don't just assume I gotta go with blue because that's what the black people are supposed to do or I gotta go, go with red, red because that's what you know white people rich conservatives right and see do your homework you yeah know, just do your homework and I, that's the thing too like thinking and thinking about hip hop you would think tra- traditionally hip hop as far as on the political scene 
do you think it's like been more like a democratic thing? Because now you got people making money like Jay Z and stuff. You would think more so that it would be more of a uh, republic thing as far as like a Republican thing as far as like keeping money yeah. and you know establishing big business and things like that. I think I think mentally a lot of them still sway toward the democratic side because the Democrats are good when they when it comes to their speeches. They they make their speeches to cater towards the middle and lower class people, you know what I mean? Whereas the, the, the Republicans typically will say stuff like, you know, I want to help, I want to help the middle class, but I also want to help the upper class and I want to help these people up here and blah, blah, blah. And I want to do all this for the work, you know, the, the, the people so we can keep, they can keep their money, you know, blah, blah, blah. So a lot of people sway toward Democratic because they feel like, oh, okay, I'm down here and they're, they're catering to me. You know what I mean? So you don't, but see, that's the, that's that mentality that keeps you down there. You know what I mean? You don't have to be of a lower class than anybody else. You know what I mean? Still do your homework, but I don't think of myself as lower class, you know what I mean? Or, or even middle class, you know what I mean? I don't think, I don't put myself in none of those categories. So I'm gonna vote for whoever I feel has my best interest at, at, at hand. And I pay attention to people you know, their mentality and their behavior. So that's why a lot of black people do sway towards Democrats because they tend to show a, a little bit of a better behavior than Republicans. But like you said, it's it's it's, it's two hands from the same puppet. You know what I mean? Yeah. So, you know, it's, it's, it's one main thing controlling two hands. So, you know, but, but that's what it is. You know, I think our people, as far as black people, we tend to focus more on your attitudes and your your behavior. You know, how do you relate to the common person? And if you seem genuine enough to us, we don't give a fuck about all the politics. We just like, oh, he's a good guy. He can relate to me. You know what I mean? So that's that's what you know, and that's good. But you got to do more homework other than that. You know what I mean? So and Republicans have a hard time relating to the average person because they're so into, you know, I want to keep my money right. You know what I mean? I want to keep my money right. I was going to say this, too. You know, one thing, as far as, like, the Democrats, what they do, um, you know, certain people, in, in, you know, and Godfrey kind of spoke on this, and they kind of made me think, like, yeah, damn, we do a lot of that. Yeah. Like, they'll come in the church, try to drum up the votes. Uh-huh. And then, like, they'll try to do some dance move, like, oh, you know, I'm down with you people. Ha, right. ha, ha. Right. Like, like, I got this dance move. Right. And then, like, white and black, the black people be like, yo, right. yo, you see that nigga do this? Right. You know what I'm saying? They're like, mm, fuck for my nigga, he did the wave. He did the day, day, yo. Oh, yeah, but, yeah, but now it's like, you know, but after that, I to do all the dance and stuff, he's doing the same shit that the Republicans right. were going to fucking mm -hmm. do. I mean, that's one thing I have to say honestly about about Trump. Not that I voted for him or none of that shit, but one thing I can say about him, he's really exposing a lot of this shit that's going on in the world, in the uh, White House, and in around America. He's really exposing what America really is. Yeah. You know, all the stuff that he's doing. Yeah. And so, really, he really is. He's. I mean, he's, he's probably good for us in that regard because yeah. he's, he's 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 exposing a lot of them undercover people. Yeah. But you know, what's funny too about this this most recent racist thing he said where he said, you know, they need to go back to the country they came from. When they asked him about this, they said, you know, okay, so, you know, what what's the deal with this? Why would you say something like that? And, you know, then they found out that there was some white nationalists, aka white supremacists, white racists who, who feel they agree with him. So he, they asked him about that. It was like, you know, how do you feel about these people who are white nationalists that, that actually support what you said. And, you know, he was just like, you know, it is what it is. You know, he said, hey, they agree with me, so I can't, I'm not mad at that. So, you know, it's like he's almost admitting, you know what I mean? I don't care about, you know, being racist. If they love what I'm doing, they're going to vote for me. That's all I'm worried about. They, you know, so it's like he's blatant with y'all, you know what I mean? He don't even care. He was just like, nah, they, they agree with me, so it's cool. But see, this is, the, this is the thing, too, about this. Let's say Hillary got in office. Mm -hmm. Okay, let's say Hillary got in office. And that's another thing, too. A lot of people don't know that Hillary and Trump 
they, they all this fight and all that shit. They're cousins. They're related to each other. Yeah. Also, Trump funded uh, Bill Clinton back in the 90s. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? So, um, with that being said, if Hillary was in office, I'm not saying that, you know, it would be the way it is, but it would still be a lot of covert shit because that's what I think that's what the Dems do. Mm-hmm. They do a lot of, they don't do like overt, over the top, like Republicans do, you know, want, you know, they'll be like, well, we kind of hate niggers, you know, they just, <laughs> you know, they kind of just played it with, yeah. but like, you know, Dems, they're like, uh, we, we, we kind of like y'all, but, uh, y'all just stay over here. Right. And, um, yeah, we don't want to really deal with y'all, but if y'all just stay over here in this area, we appreciate it. And then y'all can fuck that up and we won't fix it or whatnot. But uh, yeah. I think, well, Hillary, going back to what Hillary would have done, like, you know, she would have did like the, you know, third, you know, the three strike law, you know, mm-hmm. with, uh, with Bill, Bill, Bill Clinton mm-hmm. and all this other stuff. So really, you know, you would probably have, you know, all these other policies that she would come through with. Um, it probably still, I, I think like the chaos, it wouldn't be as bad per se, like on a, like the way that people perceive it. But I think it still would be the same. Yeah. You know, oh, you know she um, just does those behind closed doors things yeah. that you don't know about. So, you know, I mean, like you said, they're all from the same, you know, pot. And, you know, like, like you said, a lot of them are related, you know, uh, Obama's some, some way down the line, he's related to Bush. Yep. Yep. And, yep. Um, and I believe Clinton. I believe Bill Clinton yep. might have been. Uh, I think all three of them are related. So, you know, and I mean, I'm sure, you know, they're not all with the same mentality, but still, they all kind of come from the same background. So, yeah. it's not going to be so much different. I mean, it was great to see Obama, you know, as the first black president. You know, blah blah blah. He's and not he, the first. Well, yeah, <laughs> <laughs> the first one that they'll admit about. Look at know. the back of the two dollar bill. Yeah. Yeah, the first, you heard it first. <laughs> yeah, the first one that they uh, <laughs> admit to. Mm-hmm. But uh, yeah, what's my man Hanson on the back? Yeah, John Hanson. Yeah, John, yeah, John Hanson. I got to man. Next time I might bring the two dollar bill so y'all can see. Yeah, so. and cause they got like he's in there. Yeah, they they got him shaded hard. Yeah, you he's, he's on the back of the two dollar. Got a look in that group, yeah. and you can see you know he's slightly darker than the rest of them. And so slightly. what it is is they try to say that. He was he was in charge, but they they kind of make it seem like he had a different type of title. Like yeah, well he was he was in charge, but he wasn't the president. He was just the H N I C, you know, something like that. It's like they try to give him a different different title, you know. But he was he was the ruler of the congressional, yeah, the you know, continental, like right. yeah, it wasn't America then, right? Like, but it was it was still in the land, right? Exactly. So you know, y'all can. Uh, I like to get that title for America. Yeah, I'm Howard the H and I C of America. Right. <laughs> you know, so not fucking with you. I don't want that shit. Hey. <laughs> but yeah, man. So it's it's one of the things you gotta do your homework, do your history, so you can find out a lot of stuff about that, man. That's that's why I read a lot, man. I love it. Yep, love yep. it. Yep, yep. So, but yeah, man. So we want y'all feedback on that question, man. How do you feel about political brands? You know who try to tie themselves in with hip hop just to kind of get us on their side. You know, what do you think about that? You know, well, and also too, let's 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 make it a little broader question. What other uh, music? What other genre of music that uh, po- political? I mean, I know we didn't strictly deal with hip hop, but what other musical uh, genres that you know they try to affiliate themselves to? You know. Uh, that political party trying to affiliate themselves with. Yeah, you know, I know we had like Kid Rock in there. Um, you know, he was trying to get into politics and support Merrick people. Man in. Yeah. Look but, funny with my shirt off. <laughs> Got long hair. Saw so so I just like. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so yeah, so you know it happens. I think in all of the music, man. So you know, but um, I'm sure you know there's a lot going on. So yeah, y'all, we need that. We need y'all feedback on that. You know, what yeah, I, mean? yeah, I want to yeah. know what y'all think. And, and as a consolation prize, we will send you home with this Triad Hip Hop Blue Pen. Yup, just for you. Yup, yup, yup. We'll send you one of these in the mail. Yup, it's authentic. Uh, <laughs> and also, you get some disco pants, and you get a piece, a piece. <laughs> 
Oh, uh, uh, Orbit Gum. Orbit Gum. That's the new shit, too. That's you the know? new frozen mint joint. Yeah, yeah. It makes you think about hip hop when you chew it. Yeah, <laughs> man. Freeze. Yeah, that freeze. No, man. when you start chewing it, all of a sudden you just get into it's the like, oh, food. shit. Start dancing and whatnot. You know? <laughs> 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 so, yeah, man. But we, we appreciate y'all, you know, uh, checking us out always. Shout out to Instagram. Shout out to YouTube. Yep. Shout out to Facebook. You know, whenever you hear Facebook. <laughs> I'm still considering. Uh, oh, damn, damn, damn. I'm still considering putting this on Twitter, maybe because uh, Twitter seems to kind of be uh, getting back into the, yeah, to the jumping thing. Yeah. Yep, yep. So a lot of people we follow on Instagram, I notice they they jump on Twitter too. So you know, I might get back into that. Yep. So uh, and we trying to get some other platforms going too. So you know, y'all keep your eyes open. You know, and don't forget we got exclusive content. We going we putting different things on different platforms, different stuff on YouTube, different stuff on Instagram, different stuff on Facebook. So you know, we got some uh, a lot more coming. You know, don't forget like, share, subscribe, like, share, subscribe, like, share, subscribe. All the buttons, hit them, hit them, hit them, hit them, hit them. Click the bell on YouTube. Click the bell. Oh yeah. shit! So, all uh, shit, <laughs> all of them. We appreciate y'all, man. So, uh, I guess we're gonna go ahead and sign it off, man. Did you have anything you want to jump in before we go? Nah, I believe that's it. Um, also, looking forward. You know, keep us, uh, keep posting with us. Uh, we're gonna try to. I know we've been saying this for the longest, but we were seriously really trying to get some more guest in here. Uh, we want to try to get Fresher back in here. He actually did a uh, little clip last night. I just wanted to get a short mention of that. He did a clip with, um, I think, on Save the Arts. You can look at that. I think it was like Side News Inc. Uh, I, I really liked it in it. It was yeah. a, I really enjoyed it. It's like a short, like 11, 12 minute clip. But yeah. it, it's really good. He a fool, man. Yeah, He's so. Funny, yeah, let's clap up Fresh, yeah, man. man. Oh, you know what? I almost forgot to mention this. Um, my man, uh, Van Buren, that we had on the show before, um, he is going to be having his own YouTube channel where he does, like, you know, interviews and stuff like that. And he said he's going to promote us on there as well. So he's going to be trying to promote Try and Hip Hop Podcast. Oh, yeah. So we appreciate you for that, that Van Buren. We appreciate that because um, he's doing his thing, man. That dude is so creative, man. So, you know, we definitely support him. We'll have him back on the show. We got to get some of the other people we rock with, like Dota Don. Yep, yep. You know, we're going to get you on the show. We got to, uh, we're, we're going to get hot. Um, Dominic on here so he can uh, drop some of his poetry. I know he's been wanting to do that. So, we're going to let you do a segment, you know, real soon, my man. We appreciate you. Yep, yep. So, again, for Triad Hip Hop Podcast, this is your man, Kurt Dog, and this is... My name is Howie. And we're going to see y'all oh, on shit. the other side of the sound effects. <laughs> 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 Yo, we will see y'all again on the next go-round. Peace. Oh, I just wanted to... <laughs>